can you talk about how eFanFest came about? Uh, eFanFest came about in 2004 in some crazy idea, and it was basically like this. Okay, we have all these amazing players playing the game, and our interaction with them is mainly through our forums and through our blogs, and through IRC and things like that. And uh, that was a productive conversation, and has been a productive conversation, but there is nothing like just meeting the people that are playing the game, having them meet the people that make the game. So we just thought, okay, let's just have something like a, a fan event, a fan fest, and have everyone come here, and then have them talk to our developers. Then we just went ahead and did it. And we didn't really know would anyone come, what would happen, and all that. 300 people came. I remember even the night before, I had like a keynote uh, the day after, and I was just, what would I say like at the keynote at this kind of event? And I struggled with it a lot. Uh, but then I found some in the in the in the wee hours of the morning a way to tackle it, and I and I and I spoke to the sort of even audience in this uh, setting for the first time. And there was just something so right about it. And, and there was so much inspiration that we drew from getting the players of the game with all their enthusiasm for the game and sort of rekindle our own enthusiasm for the game. And that sort of system of cross inspiration between the players and the developers has really been what has made this game grow and thrive for a decade. How has this event grown? Uh, well, it's grown every year. Uh, last year we brought it here to the Harpa for the first time, which is a, this amazing venue that frankly looks like a spaceship. Uh, and now we have even more than before. We actually were sold out uh, earlier this year, so we actually have a bit of a topic for next year. Uh, how do we, how do we, how do we make space for more people, or, or how do we go about that? Uh, but there's also another thing which I think we will do. We'll bring this event or these type of events more around the world where we will have different types of developer fan conversations happen in person. Of course, FanFest will always be FanFest, but we cannot bring, I don't think we could bring 10,000 people to Iceland. I don't think there's room for it. So we will probably go and find a way to keep FanFest special, uh, keep that as the sort of prime event, but then we have more ways to engage in the dialogue with our players around the world in sort of different style events. That's probably where we will take it. What are some of the standouts when it comes to this year's conference? Uh, so, I mean, we're just about to start. I mean, it's uh, we haven't even done the EVE keynote. Uh, I mean, Dust yesterday was phenomenal. The, the team in Shanghai has put on a great version of Dust in Operation that's coming out on May 6th. People are playing it now. The energy is very high. It's a phenomenal graphics update. It's very much tighter gameplay. It's uh, by far the best version of Dust we've ever had. Uh, so that was really exciting to show that yesterday and to see the the team and all the on stage play test logistics that have to come about to make that happen. Uh, so that was probably the most exciting thing so far was to see that com keynote come together flawlessly. Everyone sort of really being inspired by the progress so far. And now in a few hours we do the keynote and we'll have another sort of strand of conversation started from that.